So this is the, what I call the inverted leech. It is a, um, obviously a leech pattern, but tied on a swimming nymph hook. Um, and here, show you one of those hooks. It is a Daiichi 1770. Um, you can see it's very much like a bend back. Um, nice rounded bend. Um, you can also tie these on the Daiichi 1870s. The problem is this sharp bend can make it very difficult if you're going to use a bead as I have here for weighting the hook. Now the whole point of this fly is, of using this hook on the fly, is this is using the bead to make this swim in the inverted position. And um, as such this will jig along nicely, it will also not get snagged very readily. So let's show very simple fly how to tie it. So I always, as always, starting by debarbing the hook. I use a simple pair of flat nose pliers, jeweler's pliers, to press down the barb. Um, it's easier than using the um, the jaws on your vise because that will eventually damage those jaws. And five dollar pair of pliers far preferable to the to damaging a vise. The other thing I would recommend is a pair of bead pliers if you can just to make it easier um, to pick up and handle the beads. Now, in this case, what I'm doing is using the bead pliers to thread the bead on. And then we can just insert the hook. Now, the bead will eventually go in this position, um, but before we can attach the bead, it's in, we need to put on the tail, the marabou tail. So, simple black thread, no fancy techniques involved here at all. Thread, remove the excess, then bring in the marabou. And in case you can't tell this, yes, this is my first time trying to record a video, so making sure I have this organized is still a work in progress. So now, when working with these, you notice it's a very feather, the feather tends to be quite flat, and I like to use that as part of the formation of the leech. Keep it flat because leeches are flattened. So draw this out. I'm going to make the tail a little bit longer than the length of the hook. But I want to tie it in so the when it's flat, it's horizontal, shaped very much like an actual leech. So pinch, wind it down a number of times underneath to secure it. Trim off the excess. Bind down the cut ends. And then I'm just going to put a few half hitches in here to allow me to next slide the bead into position. So, just turning half hitches, three are plenty. 
then bind all of this in position, sealing it up with, in this case, a little bit of Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. And then I've never had a problem because part of what's going to happen is when I slide the bead into position, it's going to cover those wraps. Which should protect the wraps quite nicely. Now, in this case, I'm using a brightly colored bead because that will produce a hot spot. Um, now, you can use the same colored, so in this case, you might use black or something that gives you a little bit of color. And that's purely your choice. Um, and now I'm going to just lay down a minimal thread base because the rest of this is just going to be um, dubbed the rest of the body. So over and back. Now I'm just going to create a dubbing loop. couple of times around behind to secure it. Now what I'm going to use here uh, for dubbing, again, purely your choice here. I like something with a fairly buggy look, something that's going to be very full. In this case, what I'm using is um, Ice Dub in a UV black. So that'll give it a fair amount of shine. And, but I want this to be very buggy, so I'm just going to feed this in. And then lock that in with my Hackle pliers, rather than using any fancy dubbing spinners, then I can easily spin with the hackle pliers. Until this cords up a bit on me. And try to keep the uh, marabou out of there. Bring the thread forward. And dub on. Spin on the body. See, I'm going to have to create another dubbing loop, and that's fine. So, on set up another dubbing loop. This one just a little bit smaller. A couple of times behind. Put it into position. and continue building up the body. Now, you can vary the color here. You can use, I'm doing this in black. This works beautifully in olive, in brown, in gray. Um, but these are really nice. They sink well. They do not snag very often. Um, and yes, the fish do like them. Um, you know, none of this is particularly unusual. You've seen other f flies tied in this fashion, other than the idea of using these swimming nymph hooks, which are really nice for anything you want that's inverted, because any sort of weight there will work just fine. Um, one of my other favorite things to do is to use flat lead tape, um, the kind you use for... Um, on tennis rackets, which is really nice because it's far less expensive than what you would get at your local fly shop. Um, so now I will bind this in. 
Oops, sorry about that. Trim away the excess. Push anything back. Then bind in with half hitches. I'm sorry, with um, whip finishing tool, three, four, five, six times around. Tighten to one. One, two, three, four, five, six times around, nice and tight. Do a second and trim. And then the other thing that's really nice to do on here, since I this I like this very buggy, is to just draw out more of the fiber. And I like to draw some of the fiber, if possible, over the bead um, to mask it just a little bit. Um, and then head cement. In this case, again, the uh, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. And we have the fly. Now it has, as you can see, it has some flash to it. Um, it has a little body. Um, this will swim in this position. Um, and it will have a tendency to jig up and down as you draw it. And of course the marabou tail makes it very, very lively. You may see in here I accidentally pulled a little bit of the green in with it and that's probably not a bad thing either. Um, I find that these are the exact colors here are less important than on many other flies. Uh, just a hint of flash, the color, the shape, and the movement are only, most of what make this fly work. That and riding upside down so that you minimize the number of snags. Anyway, this is my first time ever posting one of these, so I would really appreciate any feedback anyone wants to give. Thank you very much, and... Enjoy tying.